darkness washed over Cosy. From rolling down the street, smoking endo, sipping on gin and juice, to being tossed in prison like a common crook. Well, not exactly like a common crook. See, Cosimo was actually locked up in the alberghetto. The Palazzo Vecchio's cell for VIPs. Even though I'm told the view up there is simply stunning at this time of the year, things for Cosimo were looking pretty damn grim. Best case scenario, exile. Worst case scenario, death. His life is in the hands of Ronaldo's cronies. And there's nothing Ronaldo wants more than to see Cosimo's head on a platter. So, will Cosimo, thanks to his immense wealth, his web of friends, allies, associates, find a way to break out of prison? Or will he fall victim to Ronaldo's devilish treachery? That is the question. After being cooped up in a cell for nearly three weeks, the guy was losing the plot. He's convinced that Ronaldo's trying to poison him. So he stops eating for days, doesn't eat shit. Thing is, without realizing it, he was playing right into Ronaldo's hands by starving himself to death. But you know how they said fortune always favors the bold? It doesn't. It favours the rich. In fact, the guy whose job it was to guard cause him or bring him his food, all of that, a certain Federigo Malvolti, was secretly a fan. Can I have your autograph? And not just any old fan, a huge fan. And when this guy realised what's going on, he's like, Cosimo de Medici, how dare you think for one second that I, Federigo Malvolti, would allow that son of a bitch to lay a finger on you on my watch? Is that the kind of person you think I am? Really? Really? But anyway, to put his money where his mouth was, this guy starts to pre-taste all of Cosimo's meals right in front of him, proving A, that no one's actually poisoning him, and B, that Cosimo now has a man on the inside that he can trust. All of a sudden, Cosimo goes from paranoid nutter mode Don't back to being the man with the plan. Enter Il Ferganaccio, one of Florence's shadiest characters. Got some dirty work that he's doing, he's the one you gotta call. Thanks to Malvolti, Cosimo manages to sneak this guy into the alberghetto for a top secret conversation. The day after their meeting, Il Ferganaccio is gonna head to the Santa Maria Nuova bank where Cosimo kept a stash of emergency money, pick up 1,100 ducats, 100 for himself, the remaining 1,000 for Bernardo Guadagni, the gonfaloniere di giustizia the city's official head of state. The man with the power to either set Cosmo free or send him to the gallows. If Guadagni wants the money, he's got to pay a quick visit to the alberghetto. No strings attached. A thousand ducats. That's a lot of money. For a quick hello. I mean, come on. Problem. Bernardo Guadagni is one of Ronaldo's most trusted cronies. The mere thought of having anything to do with Cosimo is heresy. But he's also the kind of person who'd happily pimp his own mother out for cash. So before you could say, the guy was running up the steps of the Palazzo Vecchio on his way to the alberghetto. As soon as he gets there, Cosimo's like, you get me out of here, I'll give you 10 times more money, 20 times more money, name a price, mother... And there was no way in hell that Guadagni was ever going to turn down such an offer. But there's a little PR issue. See, Cosimo can't just blatantly bribe his way out of jail. If people see him walking through the streets tomorrow, it'll be pretty damn obvious he did some shady-ass shit to get out of there. They'll be like... What the f***? This guy's just a crook. Ronaldo was right. He's just a dirty, corrupt bastard like all the rest of them. They should have hung him when they had a chance. No. If Cosmo wants to get out of there without flushing his whole good guy philanthropist image down the fucking toilet, he's got to bribe his way out of jail without it looking like he bribed his way out of jail. What sort of chance does that give me? Only one way to do that. Pay Guadagni not to release him, but to exile him. What a good idea. I have of it. In fact, in a matter of days, Cosimo was summoned before the Priori and given his official sentence. Cosimo de Medici, you are hereby banished for the duration of ten years. Any attempt to breach the terms of your exile shall be punished with death. 